In this video, we're going to be measuring to the nearest quarter inch. Now, there are a few different ways we can represent one quarter. You could say it as one fourth, one quarter, same thing. One half is also part of the quarters because it could be represented as two fourths or two quarters. There's another one that is three fourths or three quarters. So the quarter inch is really the only one that has that special name that we use most often. So it's something that we do just have to become familiar with. I'm gonna call it both names in the videos just so you become familiar with it. Let's measure our key. So we're measuring to the nearest quarter inch, just like we would measure with a half inch. We use our whole inch first, and then we say and and wherever it happens to fall on our ruler. So the key here is starting at the very beginning line on the ruler, not the start of the ruler, but the line. We count our whole numbers, one, and there are three marks in between the one and the two. Those three marks stand for one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. You can also think of it as one fourth, two fourths, or three fourths. This is just like the number lines that we've worked on previously. It's just now they're on a ruler, okay? Remember, two quarters or two fourths is the same as one half. Those are equivalent fractions. And they can be used both ways. So our key stops at the very first quarter mark. So we say this as one and a quarter or one and one fourth inches. Let's look at another example. Here we have our long dog. We're gonna bring in the ruler to measure. Starting at the very beginning of that ruler, counting our whole numbers. One, two, three, four. I stop at my very first of the three lines. So it's one quarter or four and one fourth inches. Looking at our paper clip, let's bring out that ruler to measure. Lining it up at the very first mark on the ruler, and we're gonna count our inches and then look for our quarter inches. So I have one, two, and now this one gets really close to the three inch mark, but it's not quite there. So if I look at my quarter marks, I have one, two, three. So this is two, and three quarter inches, or two and three fourth inches. So be very careful when you're counting your quarter marks. They are typically long or a little bit shorter than the holes, so you should be able to see where those are. They can be a little tricky to see, so be very careful when you're measuring.